everybody. Welcome back to D Diets. How are you? We're still in week 10. Mm -hmm. It is the next day from our little trip to the cemetery. Yes, it is. And we will get into it. What am I eating? I figured I would do this in pounds for you so you guys would have an idea of how much food I really eat on a plant-based diet. If you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, turn that red button gray, oh, most certainly, please, and be part of this journey with me. So, what am I having? My neighbor Lou brought over fresh tomatoes from his garden. I weighed everything for you guys so you could see. This is a whole tomato. This is a half a pound of tomato. Half a pound. This is a half a pound of of, and this is a new fruit, and don't ask me to pronounce it, but it was cantaloupe and honeydew combined. And this is a half a pound of that on my plate. A half a pound of air fries and a half a pound of peas, broccoli, and cauliflower. I said it all in pounds. Now you might be going, wait a minute, wait a minute, how much, how much, how much, how many calories is that? Well, basically Dr. McDougall, which is a plant-based solution, um, the starch solution that I'm going with, um, a pound of fruit is 300 calories, a pound of vegetables is 100 calories, and a pound of starch typically is 300 calories. So I'm having a half a pound, that makes it 150 and between these two things over here, this is a half a pound, this is a half a pound. So that's another 100 calories. Are you doing the math? We're at 400 calories. And then with the fruit, we're at 450. Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, first, I do want to try my tomatoes. Isn't that funny? You know, they're so delicious when they're right out of the garden when somebody gives them to you. So I will tell you, I did put a little salt on top of my tomatoes. You can add a little salt on your food. So let me take a bite because it's going to be delicious. Mmm. Mmm. There, may I swallow? There is nothing like a tomato from the garden. Nothing. You can't buy them in a store. Oh my. Would you like a bite? Here, here. Well, that doesn't work out very well. Let, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me try it again. There you go. Oh, tripping on the table, that's okay. Isn't that beautiful? Mmm, 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 mmm. That is bursting in my mouth and it is so good. It is so good. Let me get the piece that fell on the table. After all, my table's clean. Hello. Mmm. Have you ever eaten a tomato like that? Mmm. You could tell I'm enjoying it, right? It's so good. It's so good. All right, one more bite. Mmm. 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 So good. So anyway, what happened yesterday? I'm keeping you all informed. After all, we're on this journey together. Why not do it? I came home. Dead silence. Naturally. No apology. Naturally. And um, as I was driving home yesterday, I really thought about it. And I thought, again, I'm worth more than that. So to get myself aggravated or get myself pissed off in some way, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. I can do the silent treatment very well. Very well. Mm. Oh, by the way, what's in this glass is flavored water. This is a pomegranate cherry flavored, no aspartame. It's just water, which has a little flavoring in it. Now, let's try one of our air potatoes. Mm. On the air fries, I put garlic, onion, and smoked paprika. 
put them in the air fryer, you can see how nice and dark they are. Mmm. Come on. Come on. Grab. Grab. They're so good. They're so good. So on the way home, I was really thinking about it and thinking about my inner self and how I'm feeling. And I have to tell you, I'm feeling so good about myself and the journey that I'm taking. And I noticed that when negativity, and listen, we all have negativity in our lives, so it's no excuse for any of us to sit there and gorge ourselves. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that had negativity coming at them, and that was always my response. Eat, eat, eat. Force it down. Force your emotions down. Don't say what it is you really want to say. Force it down. Not anymore, my friends. Not anymore. Not doing it. I matter. I'm worthy. And I care about myself. And I don't think I have to force anything down anymore. So, to your health, let me take some veggie. Mmm. 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 These are frozen vegetables. When you are doing plant-based, yes, you can get frozen vegetables, frozen fruit. It doesn't have to be fresh if you don't have it. You can do frozen. And I am doing frozen right now. This is all frozen vegetables. And they're really delicious. And we have an escapee. He didn't get too far. <laughs> so I really came home. I really thought about it. And I said, there are some people that, you know, there's nothing you could say to them. So... And this is all throughout our lives, whether it be husbands or kids or parents, whoever it is, or friends. You know, they're never going to maybe see your point. So what's the point? So what's the point? We all have people like that in our lives. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Mmm. I put a little of that sugar-free ketchup on them too. Mm. So good. Now do you see what I mean when I went, there's a lot of food, guys. There's a lot of food. You're not starving. You are not starving. I most certainly am not starving. Mm-mm. Um... It's a good feeling when you can eat like this, like this, like this, and say to yourself, oh my God, the scale is moving, but look at the, pro well, look at the quantities. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm doing plant-based. Uh, let me go over this one time, <laughs> a few times. Let me say this. If it comes from a bush, a tree, a vine, or under the ground, I eat it. I eat no vegan meat. No vegan cheese, no dairy, no fish, no eggs. I get everything from the earth, everything. So shopping is a breeze. I'm going to tell you that right now. And my husband and my daughter are all doing plant-based eating. My daughter's doing more vegan, but my husband and I are definitely doing plant-based. And yes, I am cooking for him as well as myself. I was just so angry yesterday. I really was and very saddened by my emotion of what I was thinking. And if you didn't go to my video yesterday, you may want to go over there and check it out. How people eat down their emotions, because we do. We eat out of frustration. We eat out of sadness. We eat out of depression. We also eat out of happiness. But I was never one to really sit there and gorge myself if I was happy. I gorged when I was up unhappy, sad depressed and I didn't know how to get myself out of it unless I was you know giving myself my own biofeedback which is a really good thing to do is to give yourself biofeedback and tell yourself how wonderful you are how terrific you are be a little conceited with yourself look in a mirror and say you know what I'm great for who I am I'm fantastic because sometimes people will tell you that because they have their own inadequacies that's the truth. Mm. Did you feel that dagger? A little stab? That's okay. 
You got to do what you got to do, my friends. And if you are on a journey like this, any journey, any addiction, you got to put yourself first. Put yourself first. Selfish? No. You're good for no one. You're good for absolutely no one, like I said in a previous video. You're good for no one if you're not healthy. You're good for no one if you can't take care of yourself. And I'm starting to learn that in week 10. It's taken me a while to learn these things. I'm just starting to learn. It's not easy. When your whole entire life, somewhere in the back of this brain, even though outwardly I would seem positive or putting my best foot forward, somewhere in the shackles of this brain, there was a girl saying, you ain't good enough. Mm-hmm. And in 10 weeks, because we're still in 10 weeks, I have finally said, but you are good enough just the way you are. And if you are new, I'm not trying to lose weight to be some model or to look good in a bikini. I am 61 years old. I am doing this for my health and only for my health. I do feel better. I feel more energized. I can do a lot more. When you eat like this, you can do a lot. I'm starting to learn that a lot of athletes are plant-based, which was so unusual to hear that because I'm always thinking they're sitting down eating slabs of meat. No, they're eating starch and vegetables. That's what they're eating, which is fantastic. So I feel like I'm in good company because I'm in with the athletes now. <laughs> Let's try this, shall we? Because I've never tried this. And it is a combination of a cantaloupe and a honeydew. Would you like to see what it looks like? It's very whitish, yellowish. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh my God, that is so good. Oh my God. I don't know the name of this thing. All I know is it's really, really yellow. Oh my God, it's delicious. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Look at me bringing the tomatoes back. You know, I'm not going to eat this whole meal on camera with you guys because I don't want to waste your time. I just wanted to go over with you how I felt yesterday when I came home. When I went to bed last night, I laid in bed, eyes open, looking at the ceiling and saying to myself, you got to put yourself first. You just do. Because I do love myself and I love who I am. So I'm gonna put myself first for a minute. Mm. Mm. I am telling you these tomatoes are great. So when I say to you, I'm eating pounds of food. You can believe it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. That is so, so good. I wish you were here having some with me. I really do. Well, my friends, if you take nothing away from this video, take away one thing. You matter. Your thoughts matter. Your heart matters. Your feelings matter. They matter. And if someone doesn't think that they do matter, be gone, be gone. Or if you're married to somebody that got, you, uh, got on your last nerve, well, try not to talk it out. It'll only end up into a fight because there's always somebody that wants to be right. And usually that's somebody, I never win. So what would be the point? I like me. That's how it is. 15 minutes in. I'll talk to you all soon, my friends. Be kind to one another. The heart. The heart. That's all that matters. 
not the surface, the heart. And until I see you all the next time, look at this, look at this. If you think you couldn't eat all of this, you'd be fooling yourself. It's delicious. Mwah! I love you guys. Have a nice day. And thanks for joining me on this, oh my goodness, journey. Bye-bye.